Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's go ahead and do a Divine Masculine check. I know it's been a while since I posted. Um, this is not going to resonate for everybody, so if you would like a personal, just email me. So let's just go ahead and check on the Divine Masculine. What is the major energies on how he is feeling towards his friends? Power. Um... I feel like the Divine Masculine is in this energy of stepping into their power. They're trying to tame the beast within. Trying to find some kind of balance in possibly speaking their truth. Um, showing you the real them. Being able to break free from whatever is holding them back. Um, the lion is a very um, courageous animal. And I see at the bottom of the deck, it's heal. So I feel like he's in this energy of trying to step in his power, trying to break chains of whatever is holding him back. Um, so there is some healing that he is going through right now. Spirits and guys, what is going on with the Divine Masculine today towards their femmes? Ooh, <clears throat> there's a spiritual union that he is thinking about. He's definitely thinking about you. He's like looking um, right at her. For her, the femmes, it looks like they're not really looking at him. They're like looking at the cup, it looks like. Um, but I see an affinity symbol here. That's, you know, that's just your connection. You will always be going back and forth to each other. I feel like... Um, no matter what you go through, somehow, some way, there's just, you always, like, will be in connection in the sense of, like, he will message you, you will message him. There's always this, maybe a gap between, but for some reason, there's always something that's drawn back to each other. Um, and the bottom of the deck is darkest fear. So, um, even though he's still thinking about this connection, he's still in his head, um, still possibly going through some cycles in his life that he has to overcome. This is going on with the Divine Masculine. Um, he's in this energy of wanting to share the love, wanting to give you the love. For some, they could be in a third party situation, um third party it doesn't always have to be another person it could just be work related family life being a father whatever is taking his attention away from you that may be he may be able unable to really reach out and share the love because he is tied to a third party situation that is requiring a lot of his attention and one more card spirit Ooh, but there is an energy here of him wanting balance. This is the Four of Wands. Wanting a foundation with you. Wanting to achieve a successful family life with you. For some, you may have kids together. Doesn't have to be. But um, he is wanting this stability. This balance back into you and his connection. Go ahead and see why is power here, spirit. Ooh, I feel like he is wanting to give to this relationship, wanting to step into his power and you and his connection. For some, he may want a deeper, committed spiritual connection with you. Um, you know, he sees you as a gift, wanting to give to you now. Um, I feel like for some, he may be still, he's in the process of a transition of trying to step into his power because I see a half man, half lion. Um, so it's not like he's fully there yet, but he is in this energy of healing and trying to break free from, um, a karmic partner, a karmic lesson, karmic situation, trying just to break free from just um, things that have been holding him back from you. 
And so I feel like the femmes and the masculines have been in this energy of healing lately. So femmes, continue to do your healing work. Continue to higher your vibration because that will help your masculine. So why is heal here, spirit? Yeah. He's wanting to heal um, from you. You know, not from you in a sense, but he's wanting to break chains break free from his situation because he has his eyes on you you know there's a star here that's a wish fulfillment that's a wish fulfillment um and the bottom of the deck is concern you know he's really look at this guy he's really thinking about you hard um he's pondering and so he's i feel like he's in this energy of really trying to figure out how to break chains how to do his healing where to start Why spiritual union here, spirit? Um, for some, you may have a kid together. He may have a kid with a karmic partner. Um, I feel like he's also looking as like he would love to have a kid. So he may be looking at you, thinking of you as this motherly figure that could um, be the, the mother of his child. Um, I feel like this is a also as well like um this is a fresh new start for you and him because of a new cycle because children are a birth a rebirth of a symbolic of a rebirth so i feel like he's in this energy of wanting to rebirth you and his union but there is a here an energy of a little bit in his his thoughts and fears why is darkest fears here spirit yeah and it's really messing with his mental Whatever he is feeling, going through, it's not really good for his mental health, his physical health. Um, for some, I just got a vision of he has been trying to reach out and the femmes have been really um, cold towards him. This is, this is not going to resonate for everybody, um, but take what does and disregard what doesn't but I feel like um he's not doing well because he's been wanting to reach out to you and wanting to talk to you and you haven't really been reciprocating as you used to if that makes any sense and so that really brings him in a, a mental anguish energy of a feeling why well, share the love here spirit Yeah, he sees you as that great fortune. He wants to give to you. He sees you as like the jackpot of just an amazing femme. And there's this energy here of him wanting to put in work, wanting to um, take action, wanting to share the love. Um, because he is wanting this balance back in you and his relationship, but he's still in this energy of trying to transition and stepping into his power. Um, and that's is requiring a lot of healing on his part. Why is foundation achievement here? Yeah, he's going to be messaging you. Um, if he hasn't already, there's an energy here of him acting kind of weird acting kind of not weird in a sense but just kind of like surprisingly because he has done a, like a a 360 well a 180 i should say 360 is going back to where they were but 180 of like talking more of something more stable more grounded talking about more um of wanting to be with you and i got the bottom that it's been very unexpected like whoa and not unexpected income but an unexpected abundance of something that wow that you've been wanting abundance is not always material or money abundance is just you can have an abundant relationship that's just um like prosperity like success um and so i feel like he has been maybe message some of the fans just kind of um, in a shocking way because he's talking more of something of a deeper balanced commitment and for some I feel like there's going to be an energy here of the masculine wanting to reach out 
because I see him wanting to share love, wanting to reunite, wanting to come together, maybe asking you for um, some drinks. Hey, let's go out on a date. You know, for some femmes, he may have, you know, got a little bit of more money and now he's able to give a little to you. Um, so let's go ahead and see. Why is marriage here, spirit? Yeah, see, he is wanting this victory success with you. You know, I see it as a goal too. It says goal. So um, he's in this transition of stepping into his power. And it's a goal of his to get back in union with you. Because I feel like he sees you, Fabs, because there's a main female here and that's your energy. Um, and he's trying to heal because that's a wish fulfillment of his. Why is main female here? The world, yeah, see, he needs to complete a cycle. And he knows that he needs to complete his healing in order to achieve you back. In order to get this trophy that he feels you are his trophy. Let me refocus this. Why is child here spirit? Yeah, I feel like I'm, you know, for the child and the spiritual union, I feel like he is um, looking as, as, you know, tree as a representing, represents um, your family roots and starting a lineage with you, wanting to start a family with you, seeing you as the mother of his, wanting you to be the mother of his child. Um, also, this is something that is, he's ready to, something, you know, a rebirth. He's ready to plant a seed with you in the ground and nurture it and grow it into a nice, beautiful tree that is going to bear fruits. Um, so it's going to take time. It's going to have to evolve. But the first part of it is planting that seed in the ground and, and then nurturing it and watering it so it can become this a uh, deep rooted tree that will be able to withstand storms but it's going to require a personal growth and I see past life so I know he feels that connection with you that twin flame connection and a lot of masculines may not understand the twin flame journey the divine masculine divine femme they just know that there's this connection that they have not felt with no other person why is bad health here Mm. So I'm telling you, there is some darkest fears that he is feeling that is causing him to have mental anguish because he's feeling either cursed by a situation, could be some kind of black magic, it doesn't have to be, but he is feeling a lot of shame, regret, guilt on his part um, that maybe he feels um, may have really ruined you in his connection. Maybe... Um, lost his chance with you if you are not answering his calls or if you are um not fully wanting to make this work again because you just feel like he's not quite um done his healing and you want him to be a hundred percent healed and not in a sense of still broken and could revert back so i just feel like there's a lot of shame and regret that he's feeling, a lot of baggage, and that is really causing his own mental anguish because I just feel like he is just, I feel like he messed up his great fortune with you. His, he lost his chance because, look, at the bottom of the deck is reconciliation because um, there's that gift again, like wanting to give to you. So why is share the love here? Oh, no, not share the love. Why is the great fortune here, spirit? Why is great fortune here, spirit? Why is great fortune here? Yeah, he's trying to, wow, be clever on how to share his love with you. He's being very careful. I see priestess, high priestess. So there's something that he's kind of holding within. Um, but he's in this energy of trying to be clever on how to share this love with you. And how to get this great fortune with you. How to win you back. Um, because I see clever here. There's a, a mental alert here that he is trying to figure out. He's trying to use his intellectual. His intellect on how to get you back. Because he's being very careful. He has his, his 
aim on you. He, you are the target. So there is an energy here of him having a careful aim on you. He's ready to get you back. Um, because look, here's the woman. Oops, sorry, I must have hit, I hit the camera. You know, like he is being very careful. He sees you as that that person that he's wanting to share his love with. Um, because the priestess here, the priestess is all about the high priestess is the energy of a secret keeper. She he she holds secrets within, and so I feel like he is kind of holding things back, holding things within trying to figure it out but he's very self-aware of this connection of wow he wants to share the love with you it's just he is being very um clever in how he's going to be doing it so why is message here spirit why is message here yeah i see the yes so yes he's going to be messaging you fems there's an energy here of yes um for some, he may have a little bit of pride that he quite hasn't um, pushed through because you see the divine mask, but I see pride here. So he may be kind of beating around the bush wanting to tell you how he wants to get this balance back and stability back in you and his relationship and union. But he's in this energy of wanting to take a leap of faith. He is wanting to move on to you. He's in that prosperity mindset. He's wanting to rebirth. Uh, a, a union with you he sees you as luck um so i definitely see a successful text message coming your way fems from your masculine so let's go ahead pull these up See what else is going on with the mask on. Think of spirits and guys, how does the divine mask on feel towards their femmes? How does the divine mask on feel towards their femmes? He's in this energy of wanting to be more mature. Because in my deck, there's a young man and a mature man. So I feel like he's just in this energy of trying to step in his power, trying to be more mature towards you, trying to be more stabilized. Um, but there is an obstacle that he is still trying to overcome. I think it's with that power card um, and that heal. He's still in this energy of trying to heal. He's not quite there yet because uh, I feel like it's him halfway there, but not quite there. You see the white hair? Like, he's wanting to be that mature man. He's wanting to step in his power. Be courageous like a lion. Be fearless. But he is still trying to break chains from whatever is holding him back. Whether it's a karmic partner, karmic situation, uh, karmic work. I don't know. But there's an obstacle here that is he's still trying to overcome, fems. What's the energy of how the divine master feels towards his fems? collective ice king so the ice king is he could i got other messages the ice king is he could be kind of very cold you may not have heard from him there's a lion again so he may be a leo or he, there's a leo in the chart or you could be a leo but um I feel like there's an energy here regarding a family life or family situation. Maybe he has a kid or dealing with um, a karmic child's mother. I'm not quite sure. Um, or just family life in general. But um, the Ice King is also a mature man as well. So I feel like he could be very isolating and cold towards you at the moment. You may not have heard from him. Because he's in this energy of trying to find self. I feel like if you look at this man, like how crazy is that? Like look at this man with a beard and how crazy is that? There's that man with the beard. And then the lion. He's trying to step in his power. So he's kind of having to, I got the vision of a, the hermit card. Trying to go within, doing some soul searching. And that's requiring him to have to be alone through that healing process. 
he could be leaning on family, um, depending on them for whatever situation he's kind of going through. Um, so let's go ahead and let's see what we got here. What cards? I'm going to use these cards. So let's go ahead and see what is going on. Why is the mature man here spirit? Two cards. So he's in this energy of King of Swords, King of Michael, and two of Gabriel. That is the two of wands, I believe, yeah. So the King of Michael says, wisdom and objectivity are important right now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open commu communication. So in order for him to be mature, he really needs to um, speak some truths, being open. Um, regarding you and his connection, you and his situation, and that's going to require him to be in the energy of a king, not a page of swords, not a, a knight of swords, but an, a very rational, respected energy. And that is what a mature man would do when they do in a, in a communication. Um, but is he there yet? I don't know. You know, has he became that mature man? I feel like he's still in that transition of trying to figure it out. Because the Two of Wands is here. The Two of Wands is this energy of at a crossroads for me. And he really just needs to make a bold and amb ambitious choice with you, Femmes. Um, it says, great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So he just really, I feel like he's still at that crossroads of, you know, trying to find that balance of being that mature man and um, stepping into his power. And so I think he's just... He needs to make a choice, and I think that is what's stemming from this obstacle. He hasn't quite made that choice yet, and I think once he makes that choice in his decision and makes a decision in his life, he will overcome those obstacles. We're kind of, when we are juggling something, is because we're juggling a decision, and he just needs to make that choice, and it will just, and then he can just focus on that. Why is obstacle here, Spirit? Why is obstacles here, spirit? Perspective. So that this is the hangman. Um, it says there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. You know, I feel like he's in limbo. Um, the hangman is an energy of limbo, pause, but it's also an energy of um of waiting, sacrificing, observing, coming from a different perspective, like they said, of the hangman. You know, the, 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 the man is dangling upside down. He's looking at it a different perspective. And I feel like I just got, I don't really curse like that, but he, I, Spirit just said he needs to get his head out of his ass. Uh, <laughs> And so that may resonate for some, but I feel like his head is in his ass and he really just needs to pull it out and and step up to be this king, mature man. Um, he's, he's looking from his own lack of perspective and really not looking at the whole picture and not really looking at how the femmes are feeling, how what he's done to the femmes and whatnot and how he played his part. And so maybe for him, he could be a narcissist in a sense. You know, he deflects a lot of um, of the, his own issues into the femmes and not realizing, you know, like he's part of the problem too. So why is Ice King here? Ooh, that flew out. Ooh, so, you know, he's in this energy of wanting to be that mature man, wanting to have his wish fulfillment with his femmes. You know, um, he's making a wish. I told you there was this card here of the heel. Making a wish. That's a wish. And it says, make a wish. Dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. So I know that once he can just step into his power, finish his healing. And we're not always finished healing, but 
I feel like majority, we just need to heal from a lot of things that hold us back. Past trauma from family life, growing up from trauma from family, breaking um, generational curses, and that's requiring you to break chains. Um, and so in order for you to get your wish fulfillment, in order for you to have whatever dreams you want to become reality. Um, so I feel like Femmes, he just be patient with him. He is requiring some healing still. Um, and at the bottom of the deck is Ace of Wands, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder, you know? So once he can just finish this healing, um, get his head out his ass and overcome these obstacles and challenges, um, there will be a union here, that spiritual union. we got for our masculines oh I saw another card in here Ooh. what is going on with our divine masculines and how they feel Surrender to the divine. You know, I, I, you know, it's, you know, of course, surrender to the divine, your higher self, your, you know, the higher power, divine, what, allowing divine timing to play in a part. But I, I got more of surrender to their divine femme. I feel like um, when we lack surrender, and I always say that when we have a hard time surrendering, it's because we want to control the situation. It allows us to feel like we're in control and they don't like to lose that power of surrendering because it empowers them to be controlling in that aspect and so I feel like the divine masculines either a need to surrender to the divine femmes or B I think they're in this energy of now they're surrendering to their divine femmes they're doing that healing they're seeing it now um, but there's just still like a little bit of those darkest fears with this situation that they just need to push through. Oh, psh, I swear to God, look at that. Work through your fears. Did I not just say that? <laughs> so Divine Masculines, you know, I feel like they just need to learn how to surrender. They have a hard time surrendering because it's really scary because I think they think that that's where the power lies if they um, are are not giving in or not being vulnerable it eases their mind or in a sense but not really it really doesn't So let's go ahead and see what we got. Why is Surrender to the Vine here, Spirit? Two cards wanting to come out. Success and unlikely. You know, like, things won't happen. You're, you getting balanced masculines to this foundation achievement will not happen if you don't successfully, successfully, Surrender to the divine. Surrender your situation. Surrender. Um, just learn how to surrender. You will not get the successful foundation and achievements if the masses do not know how to surrender. And and if they're going to allow their fears get in control, then um, they just need to learn how to let go. The bottom of the deck says let go. Um, but... It's still an, something that they have to work through. And it says work through your fears. Why is work through your fears here, Spirit? Why is work through your fears here, Spirit? Yeah, see, there is opportunity here. And for some femmes, this may not resonate for everyone. Within the next few months, Spirit is saying there's something that's going to be happening within the next few months. Maybe during the holidays, around Christmas, New Year's, there is an opportunity here. It's not for everyone. If the masculine is going to be working on their healing, healing, 
then the union will happen faster. But that also requires the femmes to be working on their healing to speed up and be the catalyst of their union. Because y'all are, are as one. Your souls have, were ripped apart and y'all went on your own journey. But y'all are still as one. So there is opportunity for it to be sooner than a few months if the, the femmes work on their healing. I know it, if you don't understand it, definitely, you know, email me for a reading. I can definitely provide more insight on that um to help you to try to um manifest um your union faster with your masculine so let's go ahead and i'm going to clarify these why is surrender to the divine here spirit yeah see if you are not going to surrender guess what you're going to still continue to feel left out in the cold. You're still going to feel this lack mentality. Um, still feel broken. Um, and so I feel like if the masculines do not learn how to surrender. You will continue to be in this um, crossroads. There's that two of wands and feeling left out in the cold. You're going to have to continue to learn your karmic lessons if you just don't know how to surrender. Why is work through your fears here, spirit? Yeah, and it's going to require the masculines to go within. There's that hermit card I told you. Because there is opportunity here. Look at spirit offering this ace of cups. Offering it. And the masculine is not being receptive you know, not opening his arms, feeling that, oh, woe is me, or feeling like, you know what, oh, having that lack mentality, like, oh, we will never work, or, you know, this is my life, I'm always in the, these same situations. Yeah, you are, because you put yourself in these same situations. If you can just learn your karmic lessons, learn that you are the creator of your own environment, your thoughts become reality. And so, he really needs to go within. There's that star, that wish fulfillment. He needs to be on that mountaintop to really figure himself, find himself. And that's going to require him to be isolated, alone. And so, Femmes, I know you may be wanting to hear from him. But just know that this space in him being alone and by himself is going to be the best for his healing. To going within. Um... To, to see this situation as like, hey, when you have to heal, it requires to be alone. This person is alone. And so is the hermit. So let's go ahead and just provide advice and then let's just end this video. All right, English spirits and guys, what advice do you have for us who are watching? Advice, mending bridges. I heal rifts. I am a mender. I'm telling you, this is mending bridges with yourself, mending bridges with your masculine, your femmes, mending bridges with family, anybody that is um, keeping that power over you because you're holding resentment, regrets, bitterness towards them. Set yourself free by allowing to forgive people or forgive. It's time to cross that bridge and mend. If this is the femmes who are not wanting to forgive their masses because all the hurt that they did, this is spirit saying, hey, it's time to forgive. Give grace. Forgive. Move forward so you can have that union because you obviously want that union with your masculine. But that also requires you to forgive them, to, to show them love and Send loving energy to them through the hurt, the pain, and whatever. Alright guys, much love.